Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss this exercise or CPA simulation that helps you determine whether the individual is a qualifying relative or a qualifying child. Why is that important? It's important because if someone is a qualifying relative or qualifying child, they are considered a dependent and as a result, it might give you tax benefit. There are various tests for qualifying relative and qualifying child so it's very important before you go over this exercise you went over the explanation you went over the prior session and understanding and learning what tests do you need for a qualifying child and what tests do you need for a qualifying relative now in this session i will go over an actual exercise to test your knowledge so for each situation we are going to determine whether this scenario is applies to a qualifying child test or qualifying relative if yes it applies whether the, the test is met or not and if it doesn't apply it means it's it's mean it's irrelevant it's irrelevant to that test because it doesn't it doesn't belong to that test category so before we proceed any further i have a public announcement about my company farhatlectures.com Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. Starting with, taxpayer's son has a gross income of 6,500. First, let's talk about qualifying child test. When it comes to gross income, is that a relevant factor in determining whether that child is a qualifying child or not? So this is a child and it's your son and they earn 6,500. The answer is this. When it comes to the child test, well, the gross income is not a relevant test. It doesn't matter whether your child make 6,500, 65,000, or 6.5 million. It's not relevant. Why? Because the gross income is not, is not one of the qualifying tests for a child. Therefore, it's not relevant. It's not applicable. No gross income test for the child. It's an irrelevant test. When it comes to a qualifying relative, if the son is a qualifying relative, would that be a relevant number? And the answer is yes. 6,500 will be a relevant number. Why? Because if you're trying to qualify someone under the qualifying relative, then there's a gross income test. Now, now, what is that gross income test? Gross income means there's a number. Once you exceed that number, you no longer qualify as a qualifying relative. And the answer is the personal exemption for that year. Whatever that personal exemption happens to be, if that qualifying relative, whether that's your son, as a stranger or anyone else you are trying to qualify as a relative, if their income exceeds a certain number and that number is personal exemption, they're no longer qualified. So, is this a relevant test? And the answer is yes. Does the child meet the qualifying relative under the gross income test? And the answer is no. And specifically, it's no under the 2022 personal exemption. Because in 2022, the personal exemption is 4,400. Once the individual that you're trying to qualify have a gross income more than 4,400, then they no longer qualify. Therefore, the test is applicable, but the person would qualify under a qualifying relative. Okay? Remember, when I say 2022, it means if you're looking at this recording, 2023, 2024, 2025, so on and so forth, this personal exemption amount will change, but the rule will be the same. Let's take a look at this scenario taxpayer's niece has a gross income of 3600 now we're talking about your niece not your son for a qualifying test what the gross income applies well let me tell you something when it comes to a niece a niece is considered a qualifying child well guess what because that's the case the same rule applies to a child when it comes to gross income it doesn't apply not applicable gross income test no gross income test for what we call the child brothers sisters and their lineal decedents lineal decedents is your nieces and nephews then when it comes to the gross income it doesn't apply same concept as the first example 
Now, when it comes to gross income, when it comes to gross income for a qualifying relative, is a niece qual could be considered a qualifying relative? Yes. How about their gross income? Well, their gross income is 3,600. Assuming we are using the 2022 income test, well, it's less than 4,400. The gross income test is met. It's relevant. It's less than 4,400. Take a look at this scenario. Taxpayer's aunt lives with him for the chi qualifying child test. Is an aunt considered a qualifying child? Well, we said a nieces and nephews are with an aunt or uncle. No, test is not met. Uncles and aunt are not counted as qualifying child. Therefore, the test is not met for a qualifying child test. How about a relationship for a qualifying relative? For a qualifying relative, yes. Not because... Not because it's the taxpayer's end. Now, if it's the taxpayer's end, that's good. That there is a there is a relationship. Not because of that, because the aunt lives with them. Therefore, met with the taxpayer, met with the tax lives with the taxpayer, and that's the reason why the test is met. Now, again, the qualifying relative is a little bit misleading because you think they have to be a relative. They don't have to be a relative. There are certain tests. If it's a relative, that's fine. But not every relative is a qualifying relative. I hope this makes sense. Taxpayer's son is 26 and disabled. Qualifying test for the age? Do they meet the qualifying test? Initially, you might say, well, they don't qualify for the age, but since they are disabled, they meet the test because they are disabled. That's the only reason why they met the age test. Remember, it's 19. It's above 19 to 24. The, the child has to be a full-time student. The child. For the qualifying relative, there is no age test. The qualifying relative, there's no age test. Therefore, it's, there's no age test. It's not applicable. The age is not applicable to that. Taxpayer son, age 17, has a gross income of 8,200 and does not live with him, does not live with the parents, not, does not live with their parents. Let's look now at the residency test. For the child, for the qualifying child, with this qualifying child residency test is met. What is the test? The test is you have to be live with the with the taxpayer for more than six months. So it does not. It doesn't live with them. What about the gross income? Remember, the gross income is not relevant. Therefore, the residency test is not met. The gross income is not relevant. It doesn't matter. How about the qualifying relative test? Okay. The qualifying relative test, if they are trying to qualify under the qualifying relative te test and we're looking at gross income, remember, they will fail that one. Why? Because it's more than the personal exemption again we're talking about 2022. Taxpayer's cousin does not live with her. It's a cousin does not live with her. How about a relationship test? Would that qualify under the qualifying child? Let's first look at the relationship and the residency test. Well, first of all, the residency tests don't live because they have to live for half of the year. That's out. Relationship does not, is not met. Cousin is not a child. How about taxpayer's cousin does not live with her for relationship test? Well, not met. Okay, they are relative, they are cousins, but they don't live. If they don't live, then they, they're not member of a household. Notice here the aunt, the aunts live. Yes, it's they met. The cousin, well, it's a cousin. Why, why don't they meet? They don't meet it because they don't live. Not a member of a household for the qualifying relative test. Taxpayer sister does not live with them for the residency test. Does it qualify? Well, well, they don't live with them. Residency test don't meet, don't meet because you have to live with six months or more. What about relationship test? Well, the relationship test is met. A sister can be. Why not? The relationship test is met. Taxpayer's sister has dropped out of school, is age 16, and lives with him. Well, relationship. Well, yes, sister, yes, that's, that's met. Residency lives with them, that's met. And the age 16, that's met. For the child, all three are met. How about the relationship test? A sister, yes, that is met as a relationship for a qualifying relative. Taxpayer's older nephew is age 22 and a full-time student. For a child, well, nephew, does it meet the relationship test? Yes. Does it meet the age test? Well, it's 22, but they're full-time students. Yes, but no. Why? Because for the Chi only the child meet the 19 to 24, not a nephew. Therefore, under the age test, they would not qualify. If this was a child, yes, 22 and full-time, that's fine. Relationship test, yes. Is the relationship test met? 
Yes, of course, under an NFU relationship test is met. A taxpayer granddaughter lives with her and has a gross income of 9300 Does the granddaughter qualify under as a qualifying child for the grandma, for the relationship test? And the answer is yes. Son, daughter, granddaughter, grandson, they all can be claimed as a child. What about residency? They live, she lives with her grandma? That's also met. So both are met. What about for a qualifying relative? Yes, the relationship is met. What about gross income? Does not meet the gross income. It's a relevant test, but it does not meet the gross income. So I hope this exercise helped you illustrate the difference test between a qualifying child and a qualifying relative. It's a bit confusing for many students, but that's what you have to do. You have to practice. You have to think about it. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and look at the additional resources, MCQs, true, false. Look at the notes. That's going to help you understand this concept better. Qualifying child test and qualifying relative test is an important concept, whether it's a CPA exam, enrolled agent exam, and of course, your tax course. Good luck. Study hard and invest in yourself.